So in this video, we're going to talk about a really easy way that you can do keyword research using ChatGPT for ChatGPT Plus, which is, you know, costs about $20 a month. So it's going to be a lot cheaper than most keyword research tools on the market. So this is a really easy way to do keyword research. Maybe not going to be as detailed as those higher end keyword research tools, but in any event, it's still going to give you a good basis. If you're building a small website and you're just looking for some keywords that are low competition that you can rank for more easily, um, you can use ChatGPT for that um, and, get, and get some results very quickly. So here's how you do it. Uh, you have to have the plus version. Like I said, it's about $20 a month. It's not too, not too expensive. Um, so basically you go in and you go to the plugin store and you're going to need probably just these two plugins here. So the first one is Brainwork and <clears throat> Brainwork essentially, it, it'll analyze a page. Um, it can do key, some keyword insights and things like that for you. The other one you're going to need is SERPstat SEO tool. And I, I, I think these basically provide two different metrics. I'm still kind of researching them and comparing them back and forth. Um, but I want to say that uh, the SERPstat tool maybe goes a little bit deeper as far as competition levels and search volume and things like that. But you can still get some basic information from Brainwork that can be pretty useful as well. So you want to make sure you have these two plugins <clears throat> installed and ready to go. And once you do that, then you can start typing in your keyword searches. So here's an example one I did for best workout supplements. So I started out by saying, show me keyword data for the term best workout supplements. And the Brainwork plugin worked uh, for this one and it spit up some interesting stats here. So it has a difficulty score, which I'm not sure exactly how they evaluate that. My sense, uh, I'm not sure where the API comes from if they're pulling in their own proprietary metrics for that, or if they're pulling in something with uh, Google Keyword Planner, I'm not exactly sure, uh, but it's this is helpful, right? So it says 67, which tells me that it's a little more on the competitive side, which would make sense for this type of keyword. And you can see that there are 139 million results in the search results. So that means there's literally that many pages showing up, which is of course a lot. And the recommendation is bad because of that, right? In other words, this is going to be very competitive to rank for. You're going to need a lot of backlinks and, you know, it's going to take a long time and a lot of money to potentially rank for it. it also shows you the search volume here. And I'm not, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what this means. Uh, I, I know that you know, these are the monthly searches, but then it gives a range. So I, I think what it's doing, and this is, this is actually interesting because a lot of keyword research tools, they'll give you a, a search, a searches per month metric. And it's, it's always open-ended as far as how accurate that is, because obviously it's not going to be that exact amount each month, right? You're going to have variation throughout the year, whether it's seasonality, whether there's different trends involved. So maybe this is just accounting for that difference. I'm not entirely sure, but you can see at the bottom, there's a summary. It says based on the data, the keyword best workout supplements has a medium difficulty score, which means it's moderately competitive. Okay. Interesting. So, you know, if you're, if you're, ha if you have a new website or a, you know, a smaller website, moderately competitive, that's probably going to be too competitive for you right out of the gate. So the next prompt I would enter is show me less competitive keyword variations. And I don't have to say the keyword because it knows already, right? Cause this is the one I asked for previously. And as long as you're in the same thread here in chat GPT, it's going to know what you're talking about. So I said, show me less competitive ones. Okay. So then pulls up the Brainwork plugin again, and here are some less competitive keyword variations related to that keyword. And you can see these are a little more long tail terms, but it would make sense that they would be less competitive for that reason. So best workout supplements for men that has a lower difficulty score. Remember before it was 67. So this one's 55. Okay. That sounds good. Best post-workout supplement 48. Okay. Best pre-workout supplement, 64. So that sounds pretty much in line with the original term. So it says among these variations, best post-workout supplement has the lowest difficulty score. Okay, fair enough. Making it the least competitive option. However, it's worth noting that all these variations still have a high number of SERP results indicating a competitive landscape. And that is another thing that you don't always see when you're using some of the higher end keyword research tools or it, the information might be there, but it's just not as prominent. Most people are very glued to the whole search volume and uh, primarily, yeah, primarily just search volume and difficulty score to an extent. 
but you want to look at all these factors when you're doing keyword research, right? So understanding the number of results that are showing up shows you that contributes to the competition factor, right? So like you can see here, this is, you know, this is a medium competition here, 55, but look how many results. I mean, it's almost 100 million results, and these other ones have a third of that or half of that, right? So it just gives you a sense of what you're up against. And, and of course, you have to look at the actual SERP itself because is it 95 million results from low quality sites? Is it, is it you know, a pro predominantly sites with high authority? Like, what, you know, what am I seeing there in the search results? So you have to diagnose it kind of bit by bit. Um, so at this point, I'm, I'm still not satisfied because those are only three results. Um, and what I really want to do is I want to trigger the other plugin, which is the SERP stat SEO tool plugin um, as well. So basically, I'm just going to say provide more. And this is where I think the difference probably lies between these two plugins. I think the SERP stat just goes more in depth. It just is able to pull more keyword information, um, more keywords, you know, altogether. So provide more triggers that plugin. Now I have a list of eight. Okay, so, uh, you know, it's a few more. Now, the only difference here is you're going to see the SERP difficulty is different, right? So obviously they have their own, again, I don't know if it's a proprietary difficulty score or they, or it's just pulling in from a different source, but this is a very different number than what we're seeing here, right? These are, you know, obviously a 1 to 100 scale. These, it might be 1 to 100, but it's skewed very differently, right? Because we have some here that are 1.55. You know what does that mean ultimately we can we can sense you know obviously this has a lot of searches per month but because this is so long tail right best workout supplements to gain muscle mass we could probably sense that this is a little bit less competitive okay so maybe that you know we can look at this and say okay that makes sense but some of these other ones here i mean th then this jumps up to 32 uh, and obviously there's you know, and there's actually fewer searches so that's a little bit strange that it would jump jump up so high so you really just have to go through these and see what makes sense for you. Um, but this is a really good way to start piecing together content ideas, especially again, if you have a newer website and you want to start ranking a little bit faster for some of these longer tail keywords, rather than our initial one here, best workout supplements, it's gonna be really competitive. You can start with, you know, best, like this one, best workout supplements to gain muscle mass or best pre-workout supplement for running. And you can just go through the list and, and try some of those different ones. Um, so that's pretty much how we do it. Now, the, the, the next level to this would be you could ask for even more and see if it provides it. Um, you could also place some competitor websites into this. So I do have the Scraper plugin enabled. Um, so actually, let's try that. Let's, let's try to paste a couple competitor websites and see what it, what it pulls up for us. Okay, so I entered this prompt here outline a blog post based on these top ranking sources for best workout supplements to gain muscle mass. And I literally just pulled the three websites that were ranking uh, one, two, and three for that search. So immediately the scraper plugin works. And again, the scraper plugin just goes through each of those URLs, takes bits and pieces, basically uh, paints a full picture of what those pages are about, and then condenses that into a blog outline for me because that's what I asked for, right? Outline a blog post. So here's what it gave me, and I think it only got the two sources. Sometimes, if if there's a, a you know a directive in the robots text file of these sites, they're not going to necessarily crawl. Um, but it looks like we got two of the sources, which is fine for this. And here's our outline, right? So we have the introduction, uh, starting with importance of the muscle and overall health, the role of diet, exercise, and supplements and muscle growth. That makes a lot of sense. And then we get into why nutrition matters. Um, it looks like they have a quote from an MD, which I'm guessing that's just that was used in one of those posts, so we're probably not going to use that, but it does give us a sense of where, what direction this blog should take, right? And then we get into the supplements. So this is like if we're having an affiliate site and, you know, typically this article would go on an affiliate site uh, if we're talking about supplements. So then we could have the supplements listed. We could have a benefit section, right? We could have uh, some research on it. We could have recommendations as far as how much you should take, when you should take it. And then of course have our affiliate links in there linking out to the products. Um, and you could expand on this too. So this is this gives us a decent start for a blog, but you can go into each section and you can expand each section in, in subsequent prompts. You could also go and say, can you add onto this outline, make, make it longer, make it more thorough. There's all different directives you can give chat that's, um, that's really powerful. So you just have to, you have to tinker with it. You have to 
try different inputs um, and see what you like. But these three plugins are pretty outstanding. And again, uh, just in case you've forgotten, it is this one, SERPstat SEO tool, Brainwork, and Scraper. So those are the three I'm using to do this keyword research and blog post outline process. Um, there's many more plugins as well, all here in the store. Um, these are all free to use as long as you have the plus version of chat, which is again, 20 bucks a month. It's no big deal at all. Uh, definitely worth the investment and then some. Um, so yeah, I hope this made sense. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time.